Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry. And sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Ghana versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Mark Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Jonathan Ta in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And they kick off here. Antoine Semenyo. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Oh, great attacking play. Flag up, tight offside. Rudiger, Jamal Musiala, wants to attack from the wide areas, Kimmich, it's a corner, and played in by Kimmich. Well, the danger is still there. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes round the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Are you... Chance to attack using wit. It did look on for them, but not to be. Kai Havertz. Perfect challenge.
Joshua Kimmich. Musiala. It's a good looking ball in behind. Now the attack fizzled out. Antoine Semenyo. Samed. Well, can they open up the defence here? Bad pass. Samed. Now, who can he play it to? Really vital interception here. Gundogan. Wirtz. Havertz. That's a lovely ball. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. A chance now with the corner. Favouring the short one. Florian Wirtz. Havertz! Great defending here. Promising move from Germany. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Idrisu Baba. Jordan Ayu here. Ayu. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. And that short pass, this could be interesting. Oh, big opportunity. What a vital intervention. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Tony Kroos. On a pass that lacks quality. Well, as you can see, Germany have had the majority of the ball, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. It is a decent looking attack here. Havertz. He has time to play it over. And play halted, free kick given. Well, the referee letting him know any more like that, and he will go into the book, Stuart. Yeah, he knows he can't commit another foul now. Samed. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Oh, magnificent reaction. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. And he's fired over the corner. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Moving forward effectively. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Delivered into the box. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. They do. And so it is, the first half story has been written.
Well, not that too many of us were predicting this, but Ilkay Gundogan has been silenced. Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Flag up, tight offside. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Andrich. This is Kroos. Germany pushing forward with options available. But the danger averted for now. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Florian Wirtz. Possession lost. Well, he could really get at the opposition. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Samed. Can he put them in front? And putting his body on the line. Real chance. Not covering up defensively. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Yes, a very accurate assessment. Can they open things up here? Bad pass. Jamal Musiala. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Course. And now Havertz. Can't miss, surely! And the keeper more than equal to it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He's driven in the corner. Now well, it still could be dangerous. Gunduan. This is Kroos. Kroos. Can they take the lead? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Into the final 20 minutes. Well, possibilities in the centre. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Jordan Ayew, and there it is! The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him.
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Musiala. This is Kroos. Joshua Kimmich. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And will it be Gundogan? Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. It's a short corner. Course. And back with Gundogan. Fluency of movement. Determined defending. Samed. Jordan, are you here? Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Just ten minutes to go. How can they find a late leveller? That's well blocked. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And just look at that strike. He opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball. A great finish. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Antoine Semenyo. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? Wonderful chance! Oh, keeper dealt with it. Fulkrug. It's with Gundogan. The danger here as he runs at them. He might yet finish. Kimi, and that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area and we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here Tony Kroos Gundogan easy save And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end, an even contest.